Buckle Up TV, I'm with Marl Shinquin and Richard Clark. It looks like he's lawyer. Uh, he's, well, a bit of both, yeah. He's manager, <laughs> lawyer, confidant, punch bag, whatever. Yeah. Right, Miles, ready to go Saturday? Yeah, ready to rock and roll, mate. Ready yeah, to go. can't wait, yeah? Yeah, can't wait. Yeah, I've seen his eyes. He's ready to go, he's ready to go. How long have you been training? Eight weeks, Red. Eight weeks? Yes, yeah, I was 11. That's better, that's a better answer. Who have you been sparring with? Pre preparation? All over the place, really, mate. You know, we're, we're the same all after, but we had a relatively good variety of sparring this time. Um, Travelled a bit. Normally, we get someone come to us, but we travelled a bit and to get the best, best we can get. Bring in any coach load of people from London? Yeah, we do. We could have got, yeah, got tickets. You know, we've got sold out in three minutes. Yeah, we've got twenty. Yeah, we've got twenty tickets. Air camera scene, and I think I loaded more. Got a lot of online tickets, but it's amazing. It's amazing to come here. All right. Um, so obviously, if you beat him on Saturday, if, if when, when, when. But not anything's possible. Of course, right? anything's possible. Yeah, anything's possible. Let's be honest, lads. Right. Once you beat him on Saturday, long goal, long, long term plans. What's your long term plans? Must have a make as much money as we can, right. as quickly as we can, as safely as we can, secure him and his family's future. Possibly a few bits of silverware along the way, and something to tell his grandchildren. But basically, to secure his future is my job. He'll probably have a different answer to that. No. Totally agree, totally agree. Uh, a bank full of money is better than they're all full of belts. So uh, if we can get a few few belts in the way, all well and good. If it means money, then money it is. Sounds good. We can't look beyond Saturday night though, that's not fair. It's, it's not, a hard fight. It's not professional, it's not the right thing to do. And um, you know, you heard him up there, he, he said it actually what what any any professional fighter ought to be saying, which is that there's always a bit of pressure. Everyone comes to do a job and anyone who's not up and keyed up to fight for a British title really is in the wrong game. So, you know, we can't look beyond Saturday and he's prepared with that in mind. You definitely dressed for the occasion. For the occasion we find our best clothes. Yeah, I think you're the best two dressed men here. To be honest with you. Now listen, this is a this is it. Listen, there's a lot of trash talk, and there's a lot of um, there's a lot of things taken over the modern game. And uh, this is a famous old belt. You know, there's some great, great fighters held that championship. Um, you know, you go back to the days of you take John Conti. There you go, the cream of the crop, right? We, you know, Finnegan, and we're looking to follow in their footsteps. Freddie Mills, people like that. And then you come up to the more modern era. You know. We're looking to put a little bit of class back onto that Lonsdale belt, and um, that, that's why we turn up dressed like this. We, we're old-fashioned, we do it properly. You look good, look good, lad. Thank you. And I wish you all the best, and we'll see each other soon, all right? We'll definitely see each other soon, lads. Knuckle up TV, we're out, yeah? Thank you. God bless you. Appreciate that, yeah? Thank you, mate.